Okay. Hello. Hello. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Say hi. This is Elle Devine, and of course, I am here at Barnes & Noble in Morrow, Georgia, and we are shooting our very next episode. Episodes? Oh, my God. That's what you're thinking. I love it. What was so? Um, of the Drama High Book Club by, of course, Elle Devine. Today, we're going to be talking about the end of Volume 2, which is Second Chance, and moving on into... Volume 3, which is one of my favorites, is Jay's Legacy. We have Homecoming coming up in here. Raw comes up in here. Um, it, it's just a lot going on in this book, and I really enjoy this book. I also want to go ahead and show your used books, show your love books, show your love books, shout it, show your love books. We love them, love. We love them, love. Moving on to Frenemies. Okay, go ahead. There you go. Aren't they? And they're falling apart. you got to love it. So she's actually probably going to have to buy new ones one day. I'm just joking. Okay. Um, I just have new ones because I, I kind of sort of took some from the bookshelf. So I'm sorry. She just kind of jagged Barnes and Nobles, but you know what? <laughs> it's all right because we love Barnes and Nobles. They we love, love us Barnes too. And yes, they love do. us too. They do. We want to give a big shout out to Karen Kirk, who always makes sure that we are on the calendar. Big shout out to Michaela, who always makes sure a sister is well fed and always eating properly. See, I love cinnamon stones. So if y'all want to go ahead and, you know, make sure that you buy these. My birthday will be here in about five months. You can send me a box of these. I will my hate. Um, okay, so again, we're going to be talking about the different issues that are going on in Volume 3. We're going to wrap up Volume 2 um, because we talked about it in depth last week. We really got kind of deep into everything that's going on. In Volume 3, we also deal with the fact that Jade's legacy of being a Williams woman is coming into her full right now of understanding exactly what her powers are, exactly how she's supposed to use them, exactly what her ancestors did and how that matches up with what she's doing and understanding that her mother's powers have a little something to do with her own, right? Right. Um, anything you guys want to add before we begin? No. We started out talking about kissing. <laughs> okay, we started out talking about... Yeah. Which is very prevalent. It goes with volume three because Jay gets smacked dead on the lips with... Um, wow, wow. Oh my God, Ra, I'm just so dumb with you. I really am. I really am. I'm gonna have to kill him off or something just to get him out of her life. I'm just joking. Can I do it? Yeah, don't kill him off. Bro. I won't kill. I won't kill him off. He's okay. There's enough death and violence in the world. We're not killing Ra off. Um, no. However, he may have to move to Riverside or something. We got to get rid of him because he's just gonna plague her forever. But also, her relationship with Jeremy is getting deeper. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But Ra is just complicating things. Ra just came in and threw a boomerang in it. Um, so let's begin. Let's get started, and we'll check back in with you when we're ending. All right, peace. Bye. Divine Spielberg is signing out. <laughs>